Well, welcome back to Swordbox. You know, if you've ever seen the movie The Water Boy, then you'll probably remember the classroom scene where the teacher's asking questions. It's uh, Adam Sandler's first day at college, and uh, he asked the, the question, and Adam Sandler raises his hand and says, Mama says, and then he gives some ridiculous answer that had been put in his head by his overprotective, controlling mother. Well, everybody laughs at his answer, and someone else answers it correctly. And they ask another question, and again, Adam Sandler raises his hand, and so the teacher says, okay, class, let's see what Mama has to say on the subject. And of course, he gives another just outrageous, uh, crazy answer, and the whole class laughs, and the teacher says, well, class, Mama's wrong again. In which the water boy snaps back, no, Curtis Sanders, you're wrong. Mama's right. Well, the water boy and his Mama were wrong. They were not even close to truth. The water boy had his mind filled from his youth with crazy backwoods folklore and superstitions. To him, real truth seemed like a fairy tale, and the fairy tales taught to him by his mom seemed to be right. You know, it reminds me of Proverbs 14, 12 that says, There is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. If we are all left to our own minds and feelings and emotions, our own life experiences, and to others to decide what is good and right, what is true and false, we will end up all over the place. Truth will be irrelevant. No standards, each to his own, no absolutes, no unity, no equity, a big giant mess. A kind of political correctness emerges not based on truth or equity or morals, but on man's own distorted, contaminated views, fueled through power and desires for wealth, and driven with minds that change with the winds and are anchored to nothing. Well, I just happen to have a right answer for this problem. It's not from mama, it's not from man, it's from our creator, and it's the word of God. Today we're going to begin a new series here on Swordbox. 66 days, 66 books. Each day for the next 66 days we will take one verse from each book of the Bible, beginning with Genesis, going all the way through Revelation. Very few people, even Christians, have ever taken the time to read through all of God's word. Perhaps many don't really believe it's the word of God. Perhaps they think it's old and outdated inaccurate but I want to encourage you I want to stir you up to read the full counsel of God we're going to spend a couple of days here on the introduction before we get started to talk about the Bible to get a few Bible facts and insights and hopefully convince you of just how reliable how authentic and how true the God the Word of God is now and forever there is only one true God he is our Creator he is Lord and he has one standard for all men he never changes the Bible says he's the same yesterday today and forever so that means truth never changes Psalm 1660 1960 says the entirety of your word is truth that's from Genesis to Revelation if all of God's word is truth then doesn't it make sense that we should read it all if God sent you a love letter in the mail I seriously doubt that you would just read the first paragraph and lay it on the desk to collect dust at least I hope you wouldn't the importance that we place on reading studying and meditating on Scripture directly relates to how important God is to us. The psalmist wrote in 119.40, Your word is very pure, therefore your servant loves it. Do you love God's word? Psalm 119.62, I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. Do we look to God's word seeking to find the treasures of God's truth? Do we get excited about his word? We need to. I'm excited about this series. Even though we will only use one verse a day, from a different book of the Bible, we will at least look at all 66 books of the Bible. And for some, there are many books you've never even heard of or read in God's Word, just waiting for you to discover its treasures. I hope to stimulate your interest in reading all of them for yourself. You will be richly blessed, you will fall in love with God, and He will transform your life as you do. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in each and every day here at Swordbox. We'll see you back here.